Hi there, this is Penelope, and this is a short video on the type of numbers that you might find in maths. This is the first of a video in the series Basic Arithmetic Skills. And we're just revising those if you're in DE4102, and possibly revising them if you're in FS3128. The first numbers that we ever meet are the whole numbers. These are the numbers that children learn when they're when they're little they're also called natural numbers and we write these down using numerals so these are the numbers such as 0 1 2 3 these are the numerals but natural numbers can obviously go on much further than that when we're writing a number when we we're writing an, a whole number or a natural number we use the 10 numerals which go up to 9 where the position of a numeral dictates the value that it represents let's have a look at 246 now we know that that's a number that we would pronounce 246 because that's what it means it stands for two hundreds and four tens and six units so what that means is that it's 200 plus 40 plus 6 and that's how all of our numbers are made up the natural numbers can be represented on a number line and normally you would space them equally start at zero and so on and the natural numbers are in order they start with zero and they progress from small to large as we move along the line from left to right the numbers increase and we indicate that by the the arrow now this is where it's it's useful to think about number lines sometimes on a number line numbers to the left of a number are less than so numbers to the left these are less than the given number and we use the less than symbol and numbers to the right of a given number are greater than that number and we use that symbol so for example 8 is greater than 5 because if we were to extend that eight is represented by a point on the line that's to the right of five similarly three is less than six because three is represented by a point that's to the left of six so that's the that's why we use these symbols it's coming from the the number line and less than means to the left of and greater than means to the right of then we have a group of numbers a set of numbers that are called integers so if we take that number line that we had before and instead of starting at zero if we extend it to the left and include negative numbers then we have a more useful set of numbers these points represent negative numbers and we write them as the natural number preceded by a minus sign so if we're talking about negative four we write the natural number four and then we put a negative sign or a minus sign in front of it so all of these numbers are called integers and the notion of order or the notion of size still continues so we could say 
negative 5, if we're looking for the relationship between negative 5 and 3, we would say that negative 5 is less than 3 because it's to the left of 3. So if I put negative 5 in here, negative 5 is to the left of 3. Uh, negative 2, what's the relationship between that and negative 4? Negative 2 is to the right of, and to the right of is greater than. So again, if we look at the number line, we can figure out less than or greater than. With practice, you don't even need to draw the number line. You can just think of it in your head.